So acute kidney injury is a common complication after pediatric cardiac surgery with an incidence ranging of around 20 to 40 percent. It is well known uh, that aside from acute kidney injury, the complications that can incur uh, are uh, significant, including a duration of prolonged mechanical ventilation and death. The renal angina index was derived for use as a clinical tool in critically ill children to predict acute kidney injury. The impetus for the current study was to derive and validate a renal angina index specific for children who are undergoing cardiac surgery to be able to better predict their risk for a poor outcome. In this particular study, uh, we derived um, the outcome as not only acute kidney injury, but also acute kidney injury related complications, including the dur a prolonged duration of mechanical ventilation greater than five days and uh, or death. The way this uh, particular tool was derived allows one to predict by eight hours after cardiac surgery whether or not a patient is going to have an untoward outcome, uh, the composite outcome that I previously mentioned of acute kidney injury on the third day after cardiac surgery, being on the ventilator greater than or equal to five days or death. So at, very so at a time point very soon after cardiac surgery, we would know the risk uh, that a patient would incur for having one of those particular outcomes. So it would help clinicians to be able to better determine and potentially modify the treatment uh, course for their patient in, um, in knowing that they might be at risk for this uh, bad outcome. Right, I absolutely uh, agree that pediatric patients are uh, generally overlooked. Oftentimes they're considered to be small adults, uh, but the long-standing effects of having an episode of acute kidney injury are significant in that uh, these patients may get into adulthood and uh, there's been numerous studies that have now demonstrated a risk for chronic kidney disease. So while they may be uh, uh, able to recover their episode of acute kidney injury in the hospital, uh, we don't want to forget about these patients because these may be the ones in who in adulthood are needing dialysis.